Hey, what's up? I'm Gary. I'm 27 years old and I am just bought a boat. So this is the Vonda 2. Sailing has been my passion my whole life. I've wanted to, always wanted to sail around the world. So here we are. She isn't much. She needs quite a bit of work. She's a Hinkley Bermuda 40 from 1966, a full fiberglass hull. Anyone who knows anything about sailing knows, probably know that these boats are very well made and very well known. So I'm very excited to get this boat up and running. I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm excited to see where things go. Hoping to take you all on an adventure with me restoring this boat and then taking her around the world. So never done a vlog before. Not really sure what I'm doing here, but you know, you kind of gotta, guess you gotta fake it till you make it or wing it or whatever. I mean, better to try than not do anything at all, right? So, yeah, here we are getting started. Uh, the first few things we want to do is we want to sort of assess all the things that need to be done to get her into a marina. So right now she's in a uh, in a marina that's more of a ship graveyard. These boats here are all sort of damaged or needing repair. Um, this is not a permanent location. This is a very temporary temporary location. So first things we need to do are get the boat ready to pass survey, get insurance on the boat, and get it into a marina. And to do that, we're going to have to ensure we have new bottom paint, the through holes are good. Bilge is looking clean. Um, the rigging, we probably won't need the rigging done to get it into a marina, but in order to sail the boat, we're going to need to redo the rigging. So we're starting there. Um, but yeah, she's a beautiful boat. I'm very excited. So I'm going to give you guys a tour. So here's the um, forward V berth. This will be the main cabin. Got a lot of room up here. I've been storing all the cushions up here, uh, taking everything apart. Here we have the head. This is all going to be redone. I'm hoping to get a, one of the vacuum flush toilets, one of the nicer toilets. Uh, we got a lot of storage space up here. That's pretty nice. And then down here in the main cabin area, we have area for we have our centerboard winch. And then we have a few uh, quarter berths right here. These all open up. We have a water tank under here. The plan will probably be to put another water tank here. We're still looking for the holding tank. I haven't found it yet. Um, this boat actually competed in the Chicago Manic Annual Race, Mackinac Annual Race. So we've got a whole bunch of placards. We got a few shelves over here. Galley, whole thing needs to be redone. We've got our electrical we're working on here. Plan is to get uh, some Victron. Uh, 200 amp hour batteries for the battery bank. I'm looking to have an 11,000 watt battery bank and then nice lithium ion, all lithium ion and do lithium ion starter battery. Here we have a Yanmar 29 horsepower diesel engine. Um, this boat is 41 feet just about. So this engine is, you know, sort of just barely enough, but you know, when you're running on sail power, then we have, we're up on the deck. We've got our lazarettes. So we just about cleaned out all that. I just about cleaned all that out. My plan is to, we've got our other lazarette here. So, So the lazarettes are clean, they just need to be painted and polished. We've got a propane storage right here. So whenever I decide to mount a grill and stuff, I believe the plan will be to mount a solar array on the back here and do maybe four uh, 180 watt solar panels on the back on the back side. That'll give us 720 watts of uh, charging power. Probably gonna move all our instruments up here for the engine. And we have our navigation, you know, navigation instruments up here. Got the steering wheel. Steering wheel's in good condition. Everything works down there, rudder works. So that's looking good. here on the deck, still looking for um, valves for holding tank. We got the fuel inlet over here, just down over here. So 
now we're looking for this. Um, deck's in pretty good condition. We have a nice non-skid, non-slip. Uh, we got our windlass up here, so that's good. We got our pulpit, which, I don't know, it looks a little bent to me, so we might get some metal work done on there. I was thinking of doing a bowsprit, but maybe not. We need to replace all these stanchions and all this line. There's the rigging. And the mast, we got a nice dual spreader mast. So yeah, very excited. Uh, very exciting stuff going on today. So I believe so far I'm just taking notes of what needs to be done. I think I'm gonna try to figure out all the find all the through holes that need to be replaced, which is gonna be all of them. So just find all the through holes and then see about taking the boat up to Ventura and getting a haul out and doing all new bottom paint, replacing the through holes and fixing. We, we found, I found a leak in the centerboard trunk. So this boat has a modified full keel with the centerboard. The centerboard drops down, gives you more control and then can be raised up so you can maneuver in shallow waters. Uh, this boat has a 4.3 foot draft and with the centerboard out has 8.6 foot draft. So you can see how much draft you can get rid of just by raising the centerboard, allowing you to navigate in about five foot of depth can be very good and then the deeper draft is very useful in uh, oceans where the water is a little more rough and you need a little more control so yeah very excited for this project we're gonna be doing a lot of sanding a lot of painting I'm gonna take you guys through all of it we're gonna be replacing everything um, I my estimate I'm estimating in terms of cost probably about 10,000 for all new rigging 10,000 to get the electrical system up to where I want it maybe 15 um, 10,000 just for various other things like replace the uh, like the galley cleaning up the galley and cleaning up the head or the bathroom that's where the bathroom at is for uh, less experienced and sailors the head is where the toilet and restroom I'd like to put a shower and a water here as well who knows if I'll actually use it that often but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it you know I'm gonna be cruising around the world taking a hot shower every once in a while it could be nice especially if I'm gonna have the power to supply that um, a lot of the water heaters I've looked at are about 1500 watt hours and if I'm having an 11,000 watt battery bank I should be good to you know take a shower every once in a while probably you know, I mean probably every day if I wanted to but we'll see um, so yeah we're gonna be doing a lot of projects on this boat very excited I think the total amount to get the boat up to where I want it will probably between be between 30 and 40 thousand to get it where I want it to be but you know if I could do it for cheaper than that that'd be awesome these boats you know about them you know that they're very well made they um, they also resell on the market for a lot. Uh, I was looking at this exact model and year of boat online, and a lot of the every single one that I saw in good good condition was over a hundred thousand dollars. The cheapest I saw was eighty thousand. So. So I just got done giving the boat a thorough rinse down, just kind of getting it a little nice and clean before I start doing any real work. Probably not going to go through and put a lot of work into cleaning and scrubbing until I've got most of the work out of the way, just because I'm going to make a mess doing that. But while rinsing it down, we did find a few leaks. So looks like we got a leak here in the forward porthole and a leak here on one of the port side portholes up in the forward cabin. Um, 
other than that though, it doesn't seem like there are too many other leaks in the portholes, which is pretty good considering this old boat. Um, we are leaking a bit up here, but you know, that's to be expected as we don't have any sort of seal right here. So of course, if you're spraying a hose at that, it's gonna leak, you know, we did get a bit of leakage through here, but again, we don't have, you know, got a bit of leakage through there, but again, we don't have any sort of sealant. And then again, with the, with the forward hatch, we got some uh, leaking around the edges here, but again, no sort of sealant. So that's to be expected, no leaking in here. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty dry. So that's a pretty good sign so far. So like starting out next, I'm gonna be inspecting all the through holes and counting up and seeing you know, I'm gonna replace all of them, but I need to see how many I need to replace.